Hey guys, what's up? Flexing here to talk about Call of Duty, more specifically Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 Remastered. And before we get into it, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to keep up with the content. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys a lot. I also appreciate when you guys kill it in the comments. I want to see more conversations regardless of what your views are on something. I want to see those discussions. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Now, without further ado, in my last video, we talked about some rumors about Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer finishing up on its rebuild. As many of you may know the real story of what happened behind the scenes, they canceled the multiplayer's release last minute, mostly based on the fact that they had overdone themselves on changes and alterations to the game and realized that not many people would receive it well. And recent rumors was that the final patch that left it in what they considered presentable was implemented around a month ago. Not to mention there was a stealth update for Modern Warfare 2 Remaster campaign near the end of 2020 that was never really explained. I've been trying to look into it myself, still really haven't found much. So if the March patch rumor does turn out to be more than just a rumor, these would of course together be obvious signs of preparation for its release. And somebody commented something on my last video that uh, I had brought up around the release of PlayStation 5, but it certainly does need to be reiterated again. I'm glad that he brought it up. Which is, since Sony is the one who funded the remasters of Modern Warfare's trilogy, uh, they could in part be the ones calling the shots and waiting this long, uh, not just Activision. Sony could be holding out until more PS5s are sold to drop the Modern Warfare Remaster trilogy. Another thing I talked about in my last video was the possible marketing sponsor of KFC because of their KFC gaming official Twitter page tweeting out a petition for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer on the anniversary of Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered's reveal. Also a couple of days ago, there was a post on Epic's official page for Fortnite brandishing a code for a Modern Warfare 2 Terminal Map remake. Now, from what I've seen, this could be just a community-created map, but the fact that it was advertised on uh, their actual website seemed like it could possibly be some type of marketing. Uh, Fortnite has been doing that a lot. They've been doing a lot of marketing for other games, such as God of War or Halo. But as far as in the remastered release, we are in the second quarter of 2021. The reason that is significant is because of something Tom Henderson stated in the video where he talked about the remaster trilogy. He is a very accurate source, he has validated time and time again, and he heard that Sledgehammer Games was probably working or involved with helping to remaster Modern Warfare 3 because they worked on the original Modern Warfare 3. That was one of their first Call of Duties they assisted on, and he said they could be holding out until everything is complete so they can release it as a trilogy bundle but it's still likely we would get the remastered campaign first. He also stated it was very likely for one of the multiplayers, if not just a campaign of Modern Warfare 3 Remastered to drop in the second quarter, which is between April and June. And as reported last year, June 21st holds some type of deadline. Unfortunately, we don't have the specifics if it's a deadline for the whole trilogy or just a deadline for one more release of something related to the Modern Warfare Remastered trilogy deal between Sony and Activision. But with all of this information coming to a head, it's seeming like we will be getting something this quarter. BK Tour also stated uh, we would probably be getting something in April. If you don't know who he is, he's a pretty trustworthy leaker. He has leaked very detailed and accurate information in the past, as well as leaking actual videos of weapons that were still being worked on at the time, well before they were officially released into Modern Warfare. And as stated time and time again, the Modern Warfare trilogy is funded by Sony not Activision. So Activision really is just sitting on top of free money at this point. Even if you don't think they will sell very well, Activision has nothing to lose in releasing them. Even if the games won't be as high as the games when releasing a main title Call of Duty, they can only go up. They can only make money. They didn't invest anything into this. They're going to be making free money. And the fact that this is Sony's deal and they invested this much money into it, they are expecting a return on that investment. This is business. So these things, by their contract, have to come to pass. Activision has their ideals for timing, Sony has their own ideals for timing, not to mention that COVID does play a part in this whole situation. The rumor also still stands that the Soap McTavish operator is tied to the release of Modern Warfare 3 Remastered campaign, or at least that was the original plan. We saw that he was complete and ready to be released when hackers were able to unlock him and use him in Warzone, but for some reason, he is still being held onto. But the fact that he's been finished for a while now seems sus, especially when you consider that we just had some surprise seasonal drop from Modern Warfare with new maps and he wasn't a part of it. So it seems sus to a lot of fans and seems all the more reasonable that he is just being held off until the release of something big that he will be paired with, similar to Modern Warfare 2's Ghost being released with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Campaign. What do you guys think? Are you still hopeful? Are you excited for Soap? Or do you even give a shit about Soap? And if Sony is holding out for more PS5s to be sold, do you think that's a good idea or do you think that's a waste of time? Like this video, subscribe to the channel, you know you want to. Comment down below, keep the conversation going, and I will catch you guys next time.